Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today, this is a highly, highly, highly requested video that I get. It is how do I highlight and contour? I want to do it, I want to do it. And it took me a while to get it because when I first started, I was using a concealer that was way too light. Um, the contour just wasn't blending right. It just was not coming together how I saw everybody else is coming together. So it was a trial and error type of situation, but I do have it down packed now and I'm ready to share this information with you guys so if you are interested in knowing how to highlight and contour to perfection then please stay tuned don't forget to like comment below and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe subscribe hey hey subscribe subscribe to my channel if y'all not subscribed let's get to highlighting and contouring and snatching this face bye so for today we're working on highlighting and contouring oh my gosh how do you do it I know it is hard when I first started I was no expert and it took me a while to understand how to get the blend perfectly but I'm going to show you how to do that today first things first though you need to understand your face shape so please google your phone right now and go to highlighting contour face chart okay this is what you should see something like this Identify your face shape and this will tell you where you would likely like to highlight and contour. Based on this chart, I'm usually a square face. So my face comes down and it kind of goes like this around here. So I consider my face to be square because it comes down and then it kind of goes across like this. Some people have oval. My mom has oval where her chin comes down kind of to a point and goes around. Um, but when you look at this, you'll be able to see what your face shape is and it literally shows you areas where you would want to highlight and contour based on your face, okay? Based on this chart, it's telling me that I would want to contour in this area here, which I do, and also in this area here, which I do, which is to pretty much bring this in more because it's square. You want to bring this in more when you have um, a square face. But I also contour here because I like my cheekbones to be sharper and around my nose. So you want to first identify your face shape. That'll kind of give you a general idea of where to contour. And then you'll want to um, figure out where do you want shadows. So for me, okay, where do I want shadows? Okay, well, nobody wants this, right? So I don't want that to be prominent. I want my chin to be more prominent. So I'm going to make sure to contour here because it's going to create a shadow and it's going to lift this up. So I contour coming from the bottom of my ear here and going around all the way down to this whole area because that shadow really does make a difference when you do the contouring. Also, I, I contour down my nose because I like my nose. My nose is actually not um, bad. I don't have any issues with my nose. Um, but it, I just like the look of when it's contoured right down here. It just kind of gives it more of a button look. Okay? Then I contour around here because I have I have a four and a half head. <laughs> so I like to contour here to get rid of some of that. And now we're going to talk about highlighting. For me, I like to highlight right here in the center of my face where you can kind of see where the natural light hits here, right here. You get rid of these dark circles. And um, I um, highlight around my face here because you can see it's darker around my mouth than it is around the rest of my face so this whole area I like to add a little bit of highlighting to and then right underneath here to sharpen the cheekbones so that's what we're about to do right now but like I told you guys please 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 make sure you look at your face shape because if you have a more narrow face the things that I'm going to do to my face are not going to necessarily work best for your face so that's very very important to know all right, so we got that down. Now let's first go ahead and start with skincare. We always have to start with prepping the skin before putting our products on. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Plus um, Matte Oil Control Lotion from e.l.f. And I like this because it really does mattify my skin and I have very oily skin. And it has like clay in it and other things in it that absorb oil. So I like to use this every day. It leaves like a little bit of stickiness so that when I put my foundation on, it helps the foundation to stick also. So that's another good thing. Another thing that I'm gonna do is prime my skin. That's second, so first step, moisturize. Second step, prime. Sometimes people moisturize with more than one thing. I don't like to go in with too many things that are moisturizing because of the fact that I have oily skin already. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with the poreless primer. 
And this is a putty primer from e.l.f. I actually find this to be one of the best primers that I've used for my skin. And um, I have been hooked ever since. I have like backups. Like that is my primer. They have a new matte one out. I'm actually going to try that one out too. I'm about to order that. Because this is the original. I know that this original one is everything. I love it. It's like a perfect balance of moisturizing while mattifying and blurring and I need my pores blurred. So if I get the mattifying one, I will probably use the poreless one on my pores and then use the mattifying one around the rest of my face. I'll let you guys know when I get that and I'll do a tutorial using that. So we can see what it do, what it do baby. All right, y'all. So we are primed. We are moisturized. And look at this. You see that pool? That is showing you that there it leaves a little bit of stickiness. Or you want to have a little stickiness. Um, more so probably with oily skin. But it just really helps the foundation to stick when you have a product that has that stickiness to it. I'm going to go ahead and start to highlight and contour. So I'm going to go in with my foundation. The black owned products that I have been using that have been really, really... Um, I've been here for is this foundation from Juvia's Place. This is the stick foundation and I really really have been loving it. It's so perfect for on the go if you're in a hurry. Just bam 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 and you can go. I already bought a backup because this one is getting low. Um, I also like the Bean In Foundation Stick 2 Contour um, using the Juvia's Place as well. And then I have the number 16 concealer from Juvia's Place that I like to use for highlighting. So these are the three products that we're going to be using today for our highlighting and contouring. So the foundation color I use is Mozambique. What I'm going to do is to put foundation around my face in the areas where I'm not going to highlight and contour. So um, in the areas where it's just kind of more bare, I'm going to go ahead and just add this foundation. So like here, I'm going to put it here around my mouth, okay, around my nose here, around my forehead here, here, In a lot of places I will mix it, but this is the places where I'm going to put the foundation here. That's where I'm going to put foundation. So those areas are all covered where I want to have my foundation just right around the rim of the face. Mostly because I'm going to highlight and contour. And when I highlight and contour, I'm going to go right into the inner parts of the face. Okay. So now we're going to contour. I'm going to go in with Bean In. And I'm going to go right into this cheekbone because that's where we want to carve. Right here. Okay. I'm going to go down from my eyebrow down my nose with this contour stick or foundation stick like that. Now I'm going to go above where I put that foundation right here. I'm going to take this down here and go and follow my jawbone and then go right on my under my chin like right on my neck right there. Right there we need to make sure to lift that up. Next thing we're going to do is highlight. So I want to create light in the areas where I'm going to be create, putting this product now. This is the number 16. I'm going to add a little here. This is very, very full coverage. So you really don't need a lot, lot, or it will be hard to blend because it's a lot of product. That's not perfect, but when I blend it out, it's going to be fine. But Put that down there. Then we need to go under here. And it's okay if they mix. Um, as far as like the foundation and highlight. I like to mix them right here anyway. Because I don't want this to be too light. But I do need it to be lighter to even it. So mix up that with the foundation. It usually brings the color to where it needs to be. And that's it you guys. This is all that we are using. Um, when you put it all together as one, it's less product being used as opposed to putting on a full face of foundation and then highlighting and contouring. It's better to just use less foundation by kind of just putting it in the areas where you need it. So you see the foundation is in this outer perimeter area. The inner area is going to be more of the highlighting contour. So the contour is going to be outer. Then you got the foundation kind of midway 
and then you got the highlight in inside so this is what we're looking like y'all now I like to use a foundation brush to blend so I'm gonna go in with my flat top brush from BH Cosmetics it looks like this any flat top brush um, usually will work um, but I know BH Cosmetics brushes are pretty nice so I'm gonna go ahead and start to blend the areas where we have the foundation and I'm just going in just like this and just tapping it and this stick foundation I find is really really easy to blend like it blends out like a dream so I definitely highly recommend that foundation if you are looking for something um, and especially beginners I think it would be perfect for beginners to start learning how to use foundation and things like that so I'm just literally just tapping and it just blends right out and right now we're just focusing on the areas where we put the foundation but it doesn't matter because like it's all going to be blended out at the end of the day so if you start to feel like it's blending oh no it's blending my contour some it's not a big deal i promise you so the foundation is blended out just like that already so quick right now i have this contour brush it's a luxie 1010 small contour brush it is created for contouring and I like the size of it because it's just the perfect size to go over your contour and it's like the perfect um, softness uh, with the brush. It's not too soft and it's not too hard. And I just go like this to blend it up. Do not go, don't blend down, don't blend under. You want your contour going up so you'll just blend that up like this. And blend all around. And I blend that right into my hairline, just like that. Blend under here. Now I'm going to blend right here on my nose right around and like I said it, brand, it blends out so good it blends out like a dream okay now I always like to let my highlight sit the longest so that's why I waited to do that part now we're going to go ahead and start to blend in the highlight with the sponge and I like to use a sponge to blend out the highlighted portion I just find that the sponge just brings it all together and it just gives you like this airbrushed look so I'm just blending that in and it's going to just help to blend everything. And just tap, tap, tap. Don't bring it all the way out here. What I do when I get when it gets to right here is I use the butt of the sponge and I just blend that. Just tap it and then we'll just blend it right there so that it doesn't go out too far because I don't want to bring my face out wider and once again use the butt once I get to the end here And we're going to go down the bridge of the nose, blend that in. Going to go into the dips of my nose here because my nose dips are a little deep. So I blend there. And then we're going to blend the forehead. And I'm literally just tapping. Whenever you need to feel like you need to control the products, really just use the butt and it will just blend it right in so that it doesn't go too far. All right, so we have the highlighting contour blended. Now this is how it should be looking. Everything looks really nice and seamless and blended. This is what you want to be looking like when you're done. Sometimes you may want to add a little bit more extra highlight in this area if you want to um, conceal more. But once you get it all done, you can kind of see where you are and see if you need to add any more product. 
for today I want to keep it simple I don't want to overload so I'm going to just go ahead and start setting so the first thing I like to do is make sure I have a setting powder that is close to my complexion and that is going to help me to really make sure that everything comes together how it's supposed to so I'm going to go in with this chalk dust setting powder and I used the letter A and this color is like a peachy color and it works really well with my skin tone so I go in with this with the sponge that we use and I'm gonna go underneath the eyes first because you don't want your eyes to crease where you put the concealer underneath your eyes and I do have lines under my eyes so that does happen sometimes And I'm just tapping this out. So you see how that just comes instantly mattified. And it doesn't look like it's highlighting or um, creating shadow. It's like the perfect color where it's just a mid-tone. It's like almost my complexion. And I think that everybody should have a setting powder that is like your complexion. Then one that's a little lighter and one that is... A little darker if you want to use these powders for that but for me one that is like your complexion and one that is highlighting is like imperative and that will really just help your highlighting contouring game be on point and I'm gonna put this powder on my mouth here So that's good. So you see the whole face is completely mattified and looks just like it's just all set. To highlight, I like to go in with my old chalk dust powder from the crayon case. And I'm going to put that in to this here. And we're going to blend that underneath the eye. right under the cheekbone now I'm just going to blend this because I went a little bit too high up I'll even mix a little bit of this around my mouth and then more so on my smile line so like right here So that is what it should look like when you are setting the highlighted area. So we set the whole face first. Then I'd like to set the highlighted areas, which is right here. These are the areas where we used the, the liquid to highlight. And now I'm going to go into my contours. For the contour, I'm going into the Contrasition Notebook from the Crayon Case. And I'm going to be using an angle brush that I got from BH Cosmetics. Once again, I'm telling you, they have bomb brushes. This brush right here, as you can see, it uh, goes from here up it kind of has like a at an angle and then so if I use it like this it's already gonna be pretty much putting it in the exact area where I need it so that's why I really love this brush and I go into the color bricky from this palette and I'll use that to set the contour so I'll start the contouring right here and I'll gently tap and then start to blend up because once again, you don't want to ever blend down. You want your contour going up. And the powder that you have at the bottom is already pretty much giving you a guide as to where you don't want to go further down. But you can always add a little bit more powder to sharpen it up. So that is good. Let's go ahead and do this other side. I like to tap it a little first just so that there's not too much product on it and then I just blend right here up so I don't go past like the this part of my eye that's really where the guide is for me to not go too far up because you don't want your contour going all the way over here you know then I'm gonna go around the perimeter of my head just like this and I just tap it around first just like that then I'll blend it a little
Then we're gonna go down here. Cannot forget this channel. And when I go down here, I go a little darker, so I'm gonna mix Bricky and Bobby and just go right here. I need that shadow to be on point. Right there. Down the nose, like this. There. So we went down the nose, as you can see, just to set that contour. That is looking really, really good. Now I'm gonna take this sponge here and go right back over the area where we are sharpening the contour here and then I'm going to go back down this nose and I have not used any additional product I'm just going and using the product I already have I'm gonna blend this more in to the nose here just on the sides of the nose just start to blend this out Just like that now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just start to blend all of the additional powder away so we're just gonna go like this blend this away and I just like to blend this side right here make sure it's not a harsh line where you have the contour let's blend this around here And blend this highlighted area here. All right, so we are good, you guys. We have highlighted and contoured. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my brush that we used to contour, and I just go back over the areas where we contoured. Take a brush with no product on it and blend everything. All right, beauties. So that's it. That's how you highlight and contour. So you can see we have the nice cut cheekbone there. So if I turn this way, you can see. And if I turn this way, you can see. So my cheekbones are okay, popping. Then under here, you can see this is lifted, so you don't really see as much of that little part of my um, neck hanging right here. The forehead is looking nice and, you know, smaller. But this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope all of the tips that I gave you were helpful. All right, beauty. So this is it. We have highlighted and contoured to perfection, honey. Look at this. Blend. It is so blended and just... Ooh, nice highlight here in the areas where we want the light to attract we have this nice contour in the areas where we want it to go in this neck is lifted forehead lifted everything is looking really really good so i hope that these tips were helpful for you please let me know in the comments below if this was helpful for you i hope you guys grabbed your products and that you guys went in with me as we did this for this igtv um continue to let me know what you guys need from me and i'll definitely continue to make more videos that are specific to what you guys need help on so thank you guys so much for your support thank you for watching oh don't forget if you are not following me follow my instagram beauty by yolanda follow my id tv follow my youtube from the link in the bio in my um, instagram and thank you guys so much for watching bye